My name is Matt Neal from Honda Racing. I've used and abused thousands of race tyres over my career, but today Dunlop have invited me to come to their inner sanctum so I can see exactly how the best racing tyres in the world are made. So Matt, uh, basically I'm going to show you the start of the process of making the compound. Um, one of the raw materials of a small powder ingredients that actually goes into the mix. If I'd known chicken. you were making our tyres out of pebbles and rice krispies, I'd, I'd think twice about driving 150 mile an hour on them. From the weigh station to the scales on the, on the conveyor belt, it has to be the exact way or it will reject it when it goes over to the side. To the mix. So how many different raw materials make up one of our BTC tyres? 15, 16 different ingredients. Uh, the raw materials going on to the next conveyor, which is also weighed. Uh, the guys accepted the weights, so the exact weights are on the scale, uh, with the polymers, the Rycon, and the natural rubber, and the process, next part of the conveyor, and into the mixer, where the carbon black will be added from the carbon black scale up above. The compound goes in from the conveyor, the ram comes down, pushes the ingredients onto the rotors, the rotors churn, mix to a certain temperature, and the door will open, the compound will release down onto the mills at the bottom. And that rolls it onto the big rollers? And that rolls it onto the big yeah. rollers, which are in, they feed into each other and they churn the compound together. So what is the fastest you can make from the, from the ingredients going in the top of there to a tyre going out the other side of the factory? What, what do you reckon is the fastest you could do it in? The fastest, uh, ooh, we've, we've been known to do it in three days, two to three days. I've been involved in uh, um, industry and I've seen mass production of tyres before, but I still can't catch my breath at the, the time, the precision, the effort and everything that goes into just making one. And you know, when you, and you'll be bringing a thousand just to one meeting. So the carcass is brought over to the second stage. So this is another completely new layer to what we were just watching? Another completely two layers, oh, wow. yes. And basically it's got, it consists of two steel fillers, opposite biases. With a, with a JLB over the top, which means a jointless bandage. And is this what we saw being made upstairs in the mixer? This, the compound, was what you've been sort of upstairs in the mixer, was being made for the tread. So that will go on top of that, which will go on top of the, the original carcass? Yes, which will go on top of the carcass. So, so uh, what, what point is the tag, you know, the tags we have in it for, uh, so you can detect the tyres we're running without even well, looking the, at them? Well, the RFID tag will be fitted by the second stage build after the carcass is built. So basically place it on the side wall and an exact point with a barcode which tells you exactly what the tyre is and what it's for. Well, this, is a, this is a special system that Dunlop have done for us, so, uh, or for the organisers, so they don't even have to look at the tyres to make sure we're running the right things. We just run through some sensors and they, they can tell we've got the right tyres on the day. These are the moulding presses. Basically, they'll go into the mould for about 30 minutes. So the, this moulding process is where all the markings in the sidewalls that we see, all the yes. sizing and all, you know, yeah, basically, all the names yeah. put in. It, then it goes on to another inspection process, which is uh, trim and view, balance X-ray, uniformity, to basically make sure there's so no So you X-ray every tyre? Every car tyre gets X-ray. So if it's got a slight cosmetic defect, it's out. Then we push those to Chevy or Ford or... No, no unfortunately, like unfortunately, Honda we can't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoever said uh, industry is dead in the UK is very much mistaken when you see the, the special skills required and that are taken here and just what goes into one of these race tyres. These are the final product, these are the tyres you're actually uh, going to be going on your car. Well this is my one trick set which I'm going to use in qualifying at Snet, yeah? Yes, absolutely. I've always said since I started in touring cars, the tyres are the most critical thing on the car. And a lot of people don't appreciate this, they're the only thing, you can have the greatest car in the world, the only thing touching the ground, the asphalt, is the rubber. They are everything to the package, absolutely everything.